is Carcia from itsmusicfashionlife.com and we're really excited because we're sitting down with Lisa and Christy from the amazing company that makes it you know just so much easier for girls like us <laughs> that need to go out but don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a new outfit for every single event so, that we go to. Let's start from the beginning. Where did the idea come from and um, how did you not only have the idea, but visualize it and head towards it? And well, we had, we had um, worked together for, for years. We've known each other oh. almost nine years now, and we met at work. And we're instant friends and, and knew for quite some time that we always wanted to do something together. We just weren't sure what it was. And we were invited to a wedding, and we didn't want to spend money on another dress that was mm -hmm. just going to hang in our closet, which right. just become the graveyard of dresses. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were going to rent a dress from a company in the U.S., but they didn't ship to Canada. So we looked at each other and just immediately knew that that was the path that was like, this is it. This is what we can do. It's We love business. We love fashion. Mm -hmm. We have a good time together. We work well together. This could be a really great collaboration. And so it was literally 13 months later we were up and running. Oh, wow. We knew right away we put our heads down and, and started doing a lot of research and reading and business plans and financial plans, looking at shipping providers and mm -hmm. boxes and calling designers to make appointments. So it was it was a quick turnaround, but we put our heads down and, and really kind of plowed through everything. We're mm -hmm. in your studio space now. And we're surrounded by beautiful, <laughs> beautiful gowns. And it's hard to believe that really it just took you. I'm sure that things maybe when you first started, it wasn't as huge as an inventory as it is now. Mm -hmm. or, um, but the idea that you took that and ran with it is really inspiring. Yeah. Um, on your way to getting to where you are now, were there any um, things that, anything that you learned that, made you go oh the next time we know what to do the next time we'll do this differently and that differently because as an entrepreneur your ambitions push you but then sometimes it blinds you from <laughs> right. you know sort of common sense things where you're like oh shoot I never thought of that happening or right. anything like that ever happened? you know I have to say we're very lucky um, there's a couple of things maybe we would do differently in that we started in the basement of the house of my house and so we had dresses there and um, I think we were being cautiously optimistic saying let's start here let's make it the e-commerce site but we recognized real quick that there was uh, you know people would say can I please come in and try something on even though we send a second size for free all the measurements are on the site we shoot it on different size bodies mm -hmm. some women have responded really well to that so we ship to them and then we have some women that were just saying hey could we so we we maybe we would have done that a little sooner but I don't think that's one that we would have even on day one I think we still would have said even with that information let's just go slow and we're glad we did mm -hmm. and then it's little things it's not the big ones I think people sometimes think maybe we're going to talk about something that's just a huge pitfall and we had to like you know wipe up the tears and but it was little things like we over prepared from a phone perspective most people okay. get in touch with us through email and so we bought a phone system that we thought just in case the phones ring and people have a lot of questions and so it was little decisions like that along the way do you buy a phone system do you rent a system you know so it's yeah. those little details yeah. so there's some small ones like that but knock on wood <laughs> <laughs> so far the biggest learning curve was probably just the fashion industry because that's not our background we have a mm -hmm. business background oh, okay. the business okay. plans the financial plans the revenue models all of those things kind of you know we were happy to have that information but right. at the same time we just needed to stop and go okay what's a lookbook okay what's the you know <laughs> let's get down to some of the basic fashion and it was a, a, a steep learning curve I always say but but not as long as some other learning curves that we've had. So yeah, mm -hmm. so far, not some big, mm -hmm. uh, big detrimental things that have oh, sort okay. of put obstacles in our way. That's really interesting that you you say you know you're more like business women, right. and that was your first you know, your first priority. Just because we're so used to interviewing the artists mm -hmm. that are very you know they know exactly what you know they want, but they have no idea how to get there. They've never heard of a business plan or a financial mm -hmm. plan. So that's interesting that from the same industry, but you're coming from a different place. So right. That's interesting. We we both love fashion. So it yeah. wasn't like, oh, let's just do this because it's a business. But it wasn't, we, we 
you know, it's the cliche, we're weekend warriors when it comes to fashion. Our friends mm -hmm. are the ones that call out to us to say, hey, can you go shopping with me? Mm -hmm. And we're the ones looking through magazines going, oh my God, look at that outfit, I love that. Right, right. But it wasn't anything we took in school. I took a couple fashion merchandising classes, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the focus. Mm -hmm. I think for us it came down more to um, running something that was our own, but it, it actually has turned into now more of a customer service. We love seeing women have that Cinderella moment, as cheesy as that sounds. Right. Mm -hmm. For them to, to, we get thank you cards back with the dresses. Aww. You know, this is the first time I never thought I'd be able to wear a designer dress, thank you so much. So that's kind of become, I think, what is driving us more so even than the fashion. It's mm -hmm. about seeing these women just like have these incredible yeah. moments and, and have fun and feel good about themselves, I think brings us a lot more joy than even though the dresses are gorgeous and we get new mm -hmm. dresses in and we immediately try them on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it's more about seeing what um, it's bringing to our customers. Very cool. So it's like more of uh, um, an experience. You, you can, you know, you can get in an expensive dress and sometimes it looks fantastic. But we're also looking at quality. Um, so although we'll look at name brands and we even have some brands that some people come in and go, who are they? And if you're in New York fashion and you're looking at the, the fashion shows, you know who Adam is. If you're mm -hmm. just a regular shopper that goes to the mall, you might not know who that line right. is. It's not the Oscar de Laurentiis, but it's that quality fabric that we know when women come in and they put it on, they see and feel a difference. You know, I don't know how many right. times somebody said to us, why is it that I can go to the mall, shop for three hours and find nothing, and the first seven dresses I've tried on here, I feel like all of them fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the piece that we wanted to look at. As Christy said, there's name brands that are gonna maybe attract some people to the site, mm -hmm. but at the same time, at the end of the day, we always say 95% of our customers, it's the last thing on their mind. How do you decide what makes you know, your rouster of, <laughs> of fashion. Um, I'm looking and I'm seeing beautiful colors, I'm seeing some shimmer, and of course the quality, you see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, but what makes you decide, because there's so many designers and mm -hmm. there's so, there's so much quality out there. Right. Um, how do you know what to bring to your customer? There's a few different things we looked at. We're, with our first buy, we needed variety. We needed to make sure there was something for everybody. So our first buy was pretty big. And and all over the map, we had some dresses that could go day into evening. We had mm -hmm. full-on black tie gowns. And now we're really literally going off a spreadsheet. Do we have enough long sleeve? Do we have enough color? We don't have enough green. Let's buy more green. We're trying to make sure we, we're filling in gaps mm -hmm. so that that really truly is something for everyone. But at the same time, we buy very differently than most retailers do. Right. We don't buy beige, black, gray. I mean, sure, we'll buy a black dress, but it has to be a really interesting black yeah. dress. Mm -hmm. Because for us, part of the amazing um, experience of renting is you can do something you're not investing in. It doesn't have to be an investment piece. There's no commitment. There's no buyer's mm -hmm. remorse. It's not sitting in your closet. So we want the fun stuff. The, right. the stuff that's different and unique, the bright colors, the sequins, a feather dress. Like, who's going to yeah. buy that and keep that in their <laughs> closet? Right. So right. it's really more about what can we do that's going to make women go, wow, I want to experience that dress. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to keep it in my closet, but I want to experience mm -hmm. an Let's evening. Let's be frank. Dress. I mean, you guys are the Canadian, you know, you can say it, rent the runway. Yeah. 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 It's true. You yeah. are. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it is rent the runway. Yeah. And um, so you guys are really popular, and anyone that's in fashion knows of you. So you must have designers that maybe, you know, introduce themselves and say, hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> I carry these sizes. We yeah. do, and, and actually it's, it's really exciting because we mm -hmm. really want to be able to help support uh, Canadian designers and, and be a platform. So even if it's a new up-and-coming designer, we're willing to do some different things um, with them and partner with them in ways that are maybe a little bit more non-traditional than going a retail route. So we might be able to uh, offer them a, a way to show their dresses, mm -hmm. um, and then if they we rent them, we can do something more in a, a percentage way, mm -hmm. or a, a commission basis, or kind of like a, a co-op almost, you know what I mean? Okay, so okay. We, mm -hmm. We're very interested in meeting new talent and seeing what we can do, and. Even if they say, hey, I'm going to design a dress just for rent for Uncle Pete. So it's, we're very open to that. We actually just um, 
Uh, we're really excited to be bringing on Greta Constantine in the fall. Oh, really? Yeah, we met them that and just exciting. fell in love. And, mm-hmm. and so we're really excited to be finding yeah. great Canadian talent. But yeah, uh, designers reach out all the time. And sometimes it's not just Canadian. It'll be international and from the States. We've had a couple of designers right. reach out and say, hey, I do couture here and look at my stuff. And, mm-hmm. and we're very, very open to that. And so how do you guys keep your finger on, on the pulse of what's going on and how do you not get overwhelmed by I, I think what's been really key for us is a balance is a balance of buying dresses that are classic and won't go out of style and aren't necessarily a trend and throwing in a few pieces that are trendy um, because we do want to be able to offer those women that are following trends and have their finger on the pulse of fashion mm-hmm. the same kind of variety as we do our customers who really don't care Right. They just want a dress that makes them yeah. look great. Mm-hmm. So we try and kind of ha- strike a balance between that. We're like, okay. okay, this is a classic silhouette or a classic color that we can keep for a season after right. season wow. after season. We knew, we know, Vogue is showing their fall collection, and we've seen the stuff six yeah. months earlier, yeah. which, you know, we never had the opportunity to do before because right. we were the buyers mm-hmm. of, you know, just walking in retail, not yeah. wholesale buyers. Right. And so I think that's one thing that we will go to seven shows or eight shows in New York and go, wow, we did see a lot of lace or geez, that tangerine color did come out, or, but we will, we do find that in some ways, um, sorry magazines, but sometimes Mm -hmm. they have to try and find a trend and make it a trend, versus really, like, this is what's coming out, so you might see a lace piece, but then you'll get five black pieces, see one more lace piece over here, and then lace is all of a sudden a trend, Right. (laughs) so we're not slaves to that, we Mm -hmm. think it's fantastic that people want to stay on top of it, Christy and I'll look at high-waisted pants and you know all of those things that are just kind of the craziness yeah but yeah I think we magazines the bloggers I mean they're telling us what's going on Mm -hmm. but we do we get an opportunity to see it ahead of time too so